Hey, I'm Ron Dorotos from KeyboardImprov.com and let's jam together on Stella by Starlight, the classic jazz standard played by Miles Davis, um, Keith Jarrett, Bill Evans, countless others. The changes are a little tricky because they loop around. It's in the key of B flat, but it doesn't start there, right? It starts on the E half to minute seventh chord. Uh, check out the changes in the real book. And, um, but they loop around in different ways, so it's important to play a, this tune a lot so you, you know where it's going. You don't have to think about it so much. And um, you, know, you kind of know where the harmonic centers are moving, moving around. Is it sort of going to D minor for a minute, and then, oh, here's a 2-5 from B flat minor 7 to E flat 7, but then it resolves to F, you know? It's kind of interesting how it, it takes you on a, um, a journey that surprises you sometimes. Not all tunes do that. Autumn Leaves, for instance, doesn't do it the same way. But it's a great tune. It takes a little while to get used to, so I'm suggesting you um, play along with this many, many times until you just get so fluent. At least 30 times. Just once a day for 30 days, or a month, or you know, a couple times. I'm making these, um, which I didn't have when I was starting out, so that it gives you the opportunity of playing with a piano player, really jamming. So then when you go out and play with your friends or on a gig or something, you've had this experience. So I'm gonna count off the tune. And it's in the real book, so you can play the melody and then take a solo, whether you play saxophone or you play the piano along with this or whatever. And then um, I'll take a piano solo, I'll motion myself, I'll play a solo. And then I'll, um, I'll go like that and you come back in with the head or um, maybe we'll trade fours and see where it, where it takes us. So have fun and um, here we go. We won't take it too fast. A one, a two, a one, two, three.
bad chord. It sort of has the um, sharp 11, but a C sharp in there. It's an F augmented major 7 over the B flat major 7. Uh, ma mainly, actually, an A chord over B flat major 7. So, practice that until it comes naturally. And uh, actually, this is a, a song that's close to my heart because I remember hearing Keith Jarrett do this on his um, Standards Live album. And I hadn't heard the album yet. I was in college at the University of Connecticut. I remember driving in a very cold night in the winter, driving through this uh, uh, state park I used to drive home from, from school at night, about around midnight, and this tune came on, and I didn't know who it was. Jared had just started playing standards again, so I knew him from his European quartet albums and his albums with uh, Paul Motion and Dewey Redmond, but I hadn't heard, and his solo concerts, of course, but I hadn't heard him with the trio, and I couldn't believe the phrasing was just so fluid. And, and it changed my whole approach to music here, hearing that one tune. So if you don't know it, it's on Standards Volume 1. It's uh, with his standards trio, Keith Jarrett. Uh, it's just amazing what he does. He plays a long introduction solo, and then the, the group comes in, and his improvised solo um, along with the trio is the part I'm talking about. It's unbelievable. So have fun, and I'll see you in the next video.